Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. Rescue Ace has finally received the new support that gives it legs to stand on, basically, uh, at least in and of itself, with Emergency as well as Preventer. And with them, I wanted to show you a deck list that you can utilize in order to climb ranked. Um, now, notably, I'm only playing one for Preventer. You should probably be playing two, but that's expensive. So if you don't have enough to play the second Preventer, you don't have to. Um, playing three Emergency is basically necessary. This card is absolutely insane. Being able to Special Summon, dodge, uh, targeting effects, and stuff like that. Just very, very useful. Uh, and it basically allows Airlifter to actually work. So let's quickly do the card by card and the explanations. Starting off, we're playing two Hydrant. We have a lot of ways to see Hydrant. We only want the two of it. It can kind of be a dead card, especially if you see multiple of it. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, as for the... Uh, yeah, that's it for that. I'm also playing two Impulse and the Fire Attacker, which may seem weird, but uh, I think it's just very nice to have actually... Uh, like actual use for Impulse. Um, being able to give you the Fire Attacker if your opponent does something. Um, it, it also has an decently good effect on a field where during your main phase you just negate your opponent's monster which like forces out interaction if they have something so it's okay um but it's mostly used for the the effect during the opponent's turn to grab the fire attacker to potentially draw additional cards uh or force them to make like maybe a weird board or something along those lines to play around this um i've seen people actually play around fire attackers draw effect which is um funny and uh yeah, you'll probably see that replay. Uh, we're playing three Airlifter. Airlifter is now good because it searches out Emergency, which gets you into your combo. Um, it also searches out Rescue and all of that stuff. Just a very good card. Normal, on special. Uh, on normal or special, you just search out a Rescue Ace card. Fantastic card. you love to see it. So we're playing three of that. I'm also playing the one uh, Preventer and two Turbulence. And that's it for the monsters. We're also running one HQ, three Emergency, one Alert, one Contain, one Extinguish, and two Rescue. Now, Rescue is pretty nice because it specifically reborns from the grave. So being able to draw it is very useful given the fact that you can utilize it to bring back an Airlifter or bring back what have you, um, right? So very useful just to have that draw. Um, and there are a lot of times where it's like, oh, I would like to have an additional way to like reborn a guy. And so having that additional follow-up is very, very useful. Um, so there's that. And I, yeah, to me, it, it just felt like it was a, uh, it, it was pretty worthwhile. Uh, I never felt like it was a, a card I didn't want uh, or didn't want the second copy of. So there's that. Um, now granted you can shuffle it back and be like, oh, I'll just search it again, but there's a lot of instances where it's like, well, you have one in the grave and you need that second one, so, and you don't have access to like HQ or something like that, so just having that second one was very, very useful, so I'm playing the two. We're also playing the Dia Bellstar package. Now, I know what you're saying, Dia's Bellstar is very, very useful, it gives you it into Hydrant, why would you not play three copies of this card? Well, because Dia Bellstar herself is kind of the card you don't want to see. In fact, she's really not the card you want to see. You want to see Wanted. Wanted is the card that actually gets you advantage and generates you the cards that you need and the amount of cards you need. Rescue Ace is all about little incremental slowdowns, basically. Uh, so having a card that doesn't basically pay for itself is a problem. Um, so Diabell Star, like searching out the the original Sinful Spoil. If you just hard draw the Diabell Star, it's not as good. You want to see the Wanted so that you can shuffle back the original Sin and generate that extra card, which you'll probably need. So that's kind of the idea behind that. Um, also, you gotta cut cards somewhere. I'm already playing 42, um, and I know you're you're probably like, oh well, you could cut the Rescue and play the extra cop. I I think it's just best to play the one. Um, you could definitely play three. I'm only going to play the one. Uh, as for the rest of the cards, we are playing the Triple Maxi, Triple Ash Blossom. We're playing one, one for one. We're playing the two Triple Tactics Talents. We're playing triple or, or Double Nibiru, uh, two Called By, a Cross Out, and a three Infip. Um, I'm not playing Rota, which may seem weird, uh, but honestly, eh, I, it never really felt like I needed it. Um, you could definitely play Rota, maybe instead of one for one. I feel like one for one is a little bit better getting you into Hydrant. I feel like Hydrant is a little bit better. Um, to kind of, like, get your play started and and stuff like that. But Rhoda could also be switched out here uh, instead of the one-for-one. One. Kind of up to you. Um, but yeah, there you go. As for the extra deck, honestly, this extra deck is really bad. I, I'm, 
Okay, I say it's really bad. It's fine for the most part. The biggest issue is I'm playing Puzzle Amino for some reason. I don't know why I'm playing this card. This card could absolutely be cut. Um, the idea is like, oh, you can like summon it and then modulate a level to allow you to go into Baron off of like an Ash Blossom or something like that. I don't know. He's in here because we have extra space. Um, that's basically it. Uh, it could, it, it should probably be like the second Promethean or like a second Hita or something along those lines, right? Um, but anyway, we have a Baron because we can technically summon it off of these two, obviously. I was also originally playing, um, the other guy, Jet Synchron. You can play Jet Synchron. If you want to play the one for one, you can play Jet Synchron. I didn't feel like it was necessary, but hey, Jet Synchron into Turbulence makes Baron. Meh. I didn't really feel like it was necessary. As for the rest of the cards, they they all pretty much came up. Uh, Link Karibo, Anima, makes sense. Uh, Sunlight Wolf is pretty nice, being able to go like Sunlight Wolf into Link Karibo into your Heat Soul after like adding back like an Ash Blossom or something like that is very useful. Obviously, Hita. Uh, we have an IP Mask Arena as well. Uh, we have Elf, Nightmare Unicorn, and Promethean Princess, uh, Amblo Whale, Underworld, or er, Apollosa, uh, Zelantis, and Underworld Goddess. And, uh, oh, I, you know what? Puzzle Amino should just be Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. Uh, no. There we go. Where is he? There you go. He should, he should just be Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix gives you the ability to go into it too, uh, as well. Or, like, another Link monster if you need to. And, like, pop cards. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's it for the deck. Let's hop to the replay and show you how this deck performed. All right, so here we are going second, and we did draw Impulse, which is nice. Uh, my opponent is on Unchained, so let's see how this goes. Uh, this was actually probably the coolest duel that I had with this deck. Um, yeah, that's just because Unchained is really, really cool. My opponent reveals the Tour Guide. I'm like, well, I don't have anything for that. Of course, they're going to grab the Tour Guide here. They're going to activate the effect of the Tour Guide. I'm going to go for the Impulse, which is actually nice, because um, had they not gone for a Tour Guide, I might not have actually been able to utilize the Impulse, because it specifically has to... Um, it specifically has to activate when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field. So if they, like, chain block Yama, um, there's a chance that I don't really get a trigger before they have their um, DDD monster to just negate the summon. Uh, but luckily, I still have the ability to go for the impulse here. I'm like, cool, it resolves, fantastic, love to see it. They're going to go for the tour guide, they're going to grab up the Fiendish Warrior Rhino. They're going to then set and go for Shabara, which this is a really interesting play. But you'll see why they do this. They're basically not going to add a card to their hand. That's the idea, is don't add a card to the hand because of Fire Attacker. So now I basically just made my opponent do a really weird play because of Fire Attacker. So out comes the Abominable Unchained Soul, which they just had. We know a Ruha in hand. Um, and they're going to special summon out at the Shiyama. Uh, they're going to go and send and then pop. And away goes our guy. We don't get our draws. Sad. Um... But out comes this guy. We do have the triple attack, which is pretty nice. They're going to go for the Yama here. They're going to activate the effect of the Yama. They're going to activate the effect of the Fiendish Warrior Rhino. Um, I forget what they send here. They send a Shavara. Oh, right, because they haven't... Because uh, Shavara is underneath this guy. So they grab a Ruha here, which is... Keep that in mind. And then they set the Abominable Chamber. Uh, they're going to link off in it to the Unchained Soul of Rage, and then just pass the turn. Like, oh, interesting. I guess that makes sense. Um, we draw a second triple attack, which is like, okay, well, whatever. We're going to start here with the Turbulence, because we do have two cards in our graveyard. My opponent is immediately going to go for the, the Wave High King Caesar. Obviously, this is what I'm trying to bait out. So I'm like, yeah, absolutely, you can do that, that's fine. Um, they're going to go for the Shavara here, setting the Escape. And I'm like, cool, great, I'm going to steal. Um, I'm going to steal this guy. Reason being, if I steal the, the Wave High King, not really going to do anything. Um, this guy, however, allows me to get into a Link. Uh, a link three and like yeah i could steal this but i don't like stealing it kind of does stuff i don't know. either or i think could have worked um uh, but i think overall this this may have been the better option because now i go for the preventer i'm gonna link off the field and go for unicorn and i'm just gonna pitch my uh my triple tactics 
So we're going to pitch, uh, send away the, the wave high king. And now we get to go for preventer. I get to banish the turbulence here and preventer. Let me just read preventer. Cause I didn't talk about it earlier. Uh, so emergency has the ability to quick effect special summon and then tribute a rescue ace monster you have, which is great. That's fantastic. It dodges targeted effect negation and all sorts of stuff like that. Really cool card. Preventer is also really cool. What it does, you banish a rescue ace from your grave, uh, in order to special summon it. Then, uh, if you control another rescue ace, it's a book of moon. Great. Fantastic. Uh, just each turn, you can Book of Moon. It's great. However, it has another effect. If it's sent to the graveyard, you can target a banished Rescue Ace monster, except a level 8, which is the level of itself, and special summon it. So, you can special summon a Turbulence here. So that's kind of the idea that I'm going for. I'm like, cool, I'll banish the Turbulence. They're going to go for the Abominable Chamber. I'm like, great, fantastic. And out comes this guy. I'm like, oh. Oh, you're going to link away my guy. Oh, okay. So out comes um, Anguish, I'm like, great, Preventer's going to still trigger, which more or less does the same thing. Um, and now we get to go for Turbulence. Uh, so I'm going to go Turbulence, and I'm going to set a whole bunch of cards. We're going to set Extinguish, we're going to set Contain. I know the Aruha, I believe, is in hand. Um, I know this is the, the random Chamber, or not Chamber, um, the other thing. But now I get to go for Hita, and I'm like, oh, my opponent has already used the Shafara effect, so I'm going to go for the Hita, which now allows me to go for the Promethean Princess. Um, so we're going to go Promethean Princess, we're going to activate its effect, we're going to bring out the Turbulence, and here is where I make a, a really hard decision, I'm like, okay, I can either, like, walk into the field and force out the Yama and force out, like, interaction that way, this is going to add another card to their hand and stuff like that, um, so, or I could, like, link off for Amblo and kind of go there, I could also go, like, Zelantis to potentially try and get something off of that, but Zelantis kind of doesn't do anything. So it's just like, okay, let's just go to battle. Let's walk over the field and see what they do. Kind of thing. Um, so they're going to add back their Shivara to their hand. They're also going to go for the Yama here to special summon one of their guys. Um, and they end up special summoning out this guy again. I'm like, okay. Yeah, because this guy also, if it's destroyed, adds a Fiend back from the grave. So I'm like, okay, sure. That's fine. What Fiend are they adding? They're adding the big guy. Sure. That's okay. Um, so yeah, we go main phase two and I just go for the Amblo Whale. Now, notably, I still have emergency and I believe I have rescue as well. So we can rescue back, uh, like a hydrant or something like that. Um, yeah. And then I just set the cross out designator. It's not going to do anything, but Hey, there's that. I'm going to immediately go for the rescue. I actually bring out the turbulence here. I'm like turbulence probably is just my best option. Um, since like preventer is not going to do anything and, uh, hydrant would just be walked over immediately. They're going to go for the Shiyama here, which seems a bit weird to do this here, but sure, I, I guess. Um, they're going to go for the effects of the Abominable Unchained Soul, as well as the uh, the, the Escape. So they're going to Special Summon, and then they're going to Special Summon. Like, cool. Out comes Surama. Now, they're going to activate Abominable Unchained, which doesn't target. They pitch Aruha. Cool. I know they have Shavar in hand. The idea is they're going to be like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to pop your turbulence and then you're not going to be able to utilize your traps. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to basically fire everything here. And I know that they have the Shavara. So I go for the contain just to force out the Shavara effect. I'm like, that's fine. Out comes Shavara. I'm like, cool. I'm going to activate extinguish here on chain link four because when it resolves... I'm gonna act. I'm also gonna chain emergency so that when extinguish resolves, turbulence is on, or not turbulence. Hydrant is on the field. Now the reason this is important is because extinguish has text where if hydrant is on the field, your opponent cannot activate the destroyed monster or monsters of the same original name this turn. And I want to pop Sarama so that they can't really get any additional cards. Right? It, just like Sarama is gone, they don't get a set of card. They don't get to do anything great. Um, they end up popping my uh, Hydrant. I'm like, that's fine. And now, uh, because they summoned a monster, I get to go and deal with the Shiyama, which activated its effect. So out comes the Promethean Princess, um, and uh, and then also Amblo Whale is going to bring him back at the Hita. They're going to go to the battle phase and just I, walk in here to set chamber. I, yeah. They set a card, and I'm like, okay. So it's probably the thing that it's probably, uh, what is it, escape? So they probably have chamber and escape. 
Uh, during the standby phase, I'm going to grab up the DBL star just to have, like, that additional follow-up. Um, we have basically a card that doesn't do anything here. Uh, so there's that. They're going to go for the Abominable Chamber here. Bring back the Soul of Rage. I'm like, okay, sure. Out comes Turbulence. Gonna force out some sort of interaction here. Uh, they're going to activate the effect to Link Away. And go into Unicorn, which seems kind of odd. And then I remembered, oh, right. They did activate a uh, Prosperity. So they might have, may have banished a uh, in Anguish. So they may not have the second Unchained Anguish, this guy. So, uh, yeah, they just had to go into Unicorn. Um, but there you go. I go Elf into Bring Back Hita, into Diabell Star, into Set the Original Sinful Spoil, and then I go, wait a second. I don't have another target for the Original Sinful Spoil because both Hydrants are Banisher in the Grave. Or they're both in the Grave. Yeah, they're both in the Grave. So, oops. Uh, I just go Emergency. I'm like, sure, I'll just set Contain. Might as well. Uh, I go to the battle phase. Now, uh, here, I could have triggered the 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 uh, Amblo Whale in the grave, and I could have popped a card. So I could have popped my own original sin, which could have then shuffled, been shuffled back with Wanted, or I could have like used it, you know, like link off DFL Star or do something with DFL Star if I could have. I actually couldn't have, um, but I could have like shuffled away and drawn a card at the very least, which would have done. Something, you know. Um, but we just go to battle, and I'm like, okay, they didn't have anything. Interesting. And then uh, they reveal. It's uh, it's cross out. They call called by the grave. Last card is called by. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's, it's the end of the game. But that was a very interesting game. That was very close to just barely staying within our grasp. So uh, yeah, good game. All right, here we are going second, and uh, a fairly decent hand, Maxi. You know, you love to see it. Um, I'm gonna fire off the Maxi here. I'm just like, ugh. Raid seven. Of course, they have the call back. I'm like, ugh. Raid seven. Kashira. Woo! Yay! Hooray! Can we ban a Rice Heart, please? That card is not well balanced. That is that is not a good, well designed card. To be fair, none of the Kashira cards are. They're, they all read like custom cards. My opponent is going to look at my hand and uh, take away the airlifter, which is the wrong choice. If you have impulse and airlifter, you take the impulse. And I'm going to show you why. <laughs> um, so my opponent grabs unicorn. I grab, of course, fire attacker. Then, of course, my opponent is going to go for the unicorn. They're going to banish my Promethean princess. Uh, but I get to go for the fire attacker because they, they got a guy. I'm like, great, fantastic. I'm going to draw two, pitch one of the triple tack, and guess what? I drew airlifter. You'll love to see it. Goodbye, Promethean Princess. You will be missed. You will be missed. Um, and then my opponent just gets to play the game for free and do whatever they want. Out comes Shangri Era. They normal summon the Rise Heart, which is kind of interesting. They could have just special summoned it. I don't know why they didn't, but whatever. I guess they really wanted their normal. Anyway. Uh, not that big of a deal. Oh, they are going to utilize this guy's effect. I hate Raid Cell. I hate it so much. Uh, so they're going to pop my guy. Tragic. Not that that matters too much here, but yeah. They just get their full board. Activate the effect, activate the effect. I know that they have Big Bang now, because they're going to add it off of the uh, Theosis, which is not like the greatest of adds, but like, eh, it's there, you know? <clears throat> Um, so yeah, they have one unknown, and, um, full board. We'll see how this goes. I draw one for one, which is really bad, and, uh, out comes Unicorn, I'm like, okay, sure. They're gonna target to destroy so that they can banish, so that they can, uh, get an extra material onto the Arise Heart, so that Arise Heart has three materials. I'm gonna go for the Airlifter here, and I'm gonna grab Emergency, um, to the which my opponent will then just activate the Unicorn, I'm like, sure, they didn't activate the Fenrir, which I guess makes sense, and it kind of makes sense, because, like, I would have just emergency there, but, like, that's kind of what you want, right? Because then I would have to, like, summon a guy, and then you could just banish whatever I summon. I don't know. I, I, I feel like my opponent played this really poorly. Um, anyway, they're, they're going to negate one of my other spell trap zones. Like, sure, whatever. They end up grabbing Maxi, which is funny. Uh, I'm going to go for the triple tack to steal, to the which my opponent will do the dumbest thing I think I have ever seen. 
But it does help me win the game, which is very, very funny. Um, and honestly deserved. They target the triple tag. In what world do you target triple tactics there with your Arise Heart? Please explain to me that concept because it does not make any sense to me. I, 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 huh? Sure, it goes away. Uh, I'm going to just take your Fenrir. Like, Fenrir hasn't activated, so yeah, I'm going to take that one. Uh, they're going to negate one of uh, my other zones. They're going to go for the uh, Theosis as well. So, they're going to grab the Unicorn back, because of course they can do that. Why not? Uh, and then reattach one of their uh, Arise Heart. I'm just going to banish this guy. I literally can't deal with him. And now we go for the Emergency here. We're going to grab the Hydrant. I'm just, like, hoping and praying that they don't have Ash Blossom just randomly. Um, but, yeah. They don't. Great. Fantastic. We get to go for uh, Hita, which, hey, Arise Heart, or the Rise Heart happens to be a fire. My opponent then goes for Big Bang. I don't think they know how their own cards work. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Yeah! For sure. Wipe your own board. Thank you. Um, anyway, out comes Turbulence. Turbulence effect is going to activate. We're going to set two of our cards. We're going to set Containing Extinguish. I don't know if this is necessarily the correct play. Um, but yeah. I don't have Promethean Princess, so I just passed the turn there. I'm like, yeah, okay. Out comes the Ogre. They're going to try and pop up one of my cards. And I'm like, oh, fantastic. You targeted the wrong card. Had they targeted the other one, we would have been fine. They targeted the Extinguish. Great, fantastic. I'm going to pop the Ogre. So we pop the Ogre. It's dead. It's gone. It doesn't have anything. Um, and then because they popped my card, Turbulence's secondary effect. Secret effect of Turbulence. Um, Turbulence's secondary effect activates where if another card you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, which it did, even though I activated it. I get a pop card. So I pop the race up. Get it out of here. I don't want it. Um, but then, of course, because they activated the effect of their Shangri Era, they go for the Arise Heart. I'm like, no. They go to the battle phase. I'm like, no, you're not attacking. That's just not allowed. So I contain it. And they pass. I'm like, great. Fantastic. You love to see it. And then they activate Light Force Sword. What is happening? Okay, sure. No, this is normal. This is fine. Uh, so those get banished. Now, notably, they're banished at the same time. The card from my hand, as well as the card, the, the Light Force Source, both are banished at the same time. So they only get that one extra material. So I'm like, great. I'm going to go Turbulence. I'm going to set four. Because you can't banish my field, which is grand, fantastic, and perfect. So I, oh, I only set three because I literally can't set four. Um, and then I just crash and deal 18. And I'm like, great. Okay, I can, I, I can work from here. Um, I'm going to go for the Hita and I'm like... Maxi, of course you have it. Well, I'm going to go for the rescue. I'm going to bring back the airlifter, and we're going to just go from here. We're going to see what we can do. Uh, I go for the airlifter here. Um, reason being, because it allows me to grab the field spell. I'm like, I don't know. The field spell is at least going to get me another draw. So that's kind of the idea behind that. It's also going to recycle the contain and extinguish. So again, there's that. Um, so I'm going to shuffle back two of my vanish cards, as well as my two traps, and then draw a card, which is Ash, which is fairly decent. But I'm just going to, again, pass a turn because Maxi is cool. Now, I know that they have the uh, the Unicorn in their hand. But Harpy's Feather Duster. Harpy, Harpy's Feather Duster as well. You're going to you're gonna see. My opponent was the luckiest player ever. Like, genuinely, I have not seen better luck from my opponent here. And uh, it didn't matter because they're bad. Like, genuinely, this is just a skill diff. Uh, we're going to go for the alert here as well. We're going to go for the emergency. We're going to go for the rescue. We're going to bring back the hydrant um, and just like cope and pray that we do not die. Uh, but I do get to go for the preventer, which is great because that's going to at least stop something. I grab impulse from the grave so that I can special summon when they activate an effect. But they're not going to um, because I'm just not going to allow that. They top decked Prospy. They drew Prospy Harpy's Feather Duster. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Imagine if I was that good. Now, granted, I did top deck Ash Blossom, which is, like, great. But, but dang, dude. You drew Prosby, too? You drew Prosby on top of all of that? Anyway, out comes Unicorn, and I'm just gonna book that. I'm just, I'm just gonna say no to that. Um, no, just, no. yeah, just no. Uh, at this point, I, I could not figure out a way to lethal without Promethean Princess. So, like, without, I should say, without Promethean Princess and 
like HQ and stuff like that. I think I also have both of my rescues in the grave, so I can't really like recycle them either. So there's that. I just go for the Sunlight Wolf here, link those off for the Link Karibo, and uh, activate the effect of my Sunlight Wolf, grab back the Turbulence, and then activate or go into the Heat Soul. Uh, activate the heat, the heat Soul effect to draw a card, and then just proceed to battle. Um, again, I, I don't really think I have a way to KO. <clears throat> I might have. There, there might have been a way to, to do something there, but uh, it's fine. My opponent goes for the Imperm, and I'm like, no. 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 I'm getting that draw. I'm gonna cross out your Imperm. I, at this point, I, I at this point, I'm just BMing my opponent, and uh, you'll see that, but... You know what? After this duel, after this duel, after the way that my opponent played, they, they deserve it. They're playing Light Force Sword, by the way. They're playing Light Force Sword. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna set a bunch more cards. We're gonna link off into Amblo. We're gonna then link off into Zalantis. Again, I'm just BMing. I'm gonna activate the effect. I'm gonna bring it all back. Yeah, bring it all back! Yeah! And then I just go to battle. <clears throat> I only BM a little. But yeah, there we go. I... Cashier players are just gifted. They, they just... They draw insanely well. Luckily, their brains are that of peas. Alright. Here we are, once again, going first. And uh, this is kind of going to be an interesting duel. Uh, we're going to start with the airlifter. We're going to search up the alert. Since we already have the emergency, we're going to go for that. Um, we're going to grab up the Hydrant. Hydrant effect is then going to activate. And this is why I grabbed the alert, so is is basically just another search. Um, we're going to go for Preventer. <clears throat> and now we can go for the alert to grab up the Turbulence. Um, we're going to then link off the Hydrant into Link Karibo. And then we're going to activate the effect of the Turbulence, banishing two in order to do Special Summon itself out. And we already have Extinguish, which kind of sucks, but yeah, we're going to go for the... I actually can only set three because I'm only playing the one alert. Um, I probably should have just grabbed the rescue so that I could have used the alert. I could have set the alert, but I don't know. I go for Sunlight Wolf. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not great, uh, but it's it's fine. We bring back the Hydrant. We then go for the Promethean Princess. We're going to bring back the Preventer, and then we're going to link off the Hydrant in order to go for the Amblo Whale. And uh, then we're going to set two and pass. Now, notably, I have two cold bud, but I uh, can't really do anything else here. My opponent goes to the Ecclesia. They're going to activate the effect of the Ecclesia. I'm like, okay, sure, yeah, that's fine. This is probably Labyrinth. Hold on. <clears throat> keep keep that in mind. Right right now, normally, I, I see the Ecclesia, and I'm like, okay, this is probably just Labyrinth. Sure. And then I see the Nadir Servant. Specifically grab a second Ecclesia, and I go, oh, it's Stun. Because in no other world is Labyrinth playing a second Ecclesia. They just not. Especially when they set this, I'm like, oh, okay, so that's a Patch of Cephalo. That is a Fossil Dyna, guaranteed. They set two, they have four cards in hand. If this was Labyrinth, there would not be four cards in hand, especially if I didn't get hand trapped, right? Um, so yeah, this is, this is stun. So now my game plan is don't die to stun, okay? Don't, don't randomly die to a Fossil Dyna. Got it. Anyway. So I'm immediately going to go for it, the Zalantis, to the which my opponent will go, uh, no, no, Compulse. And I go, well, at least it's not, I don't know, freaking Rivalry or Gozen or something stupid like that. Um, so I go for the, the IP Mask Arena here. We're going to activate the Preventer effect, and uh, they go for the Punishment. I'm like, okay, sure, I guess. Not really anything I can do about that. They send the Entis. We go for Preventer, grab up the Airlifter. Airlifter effect on it. Summon is going to activate. We're also going to trigger the effect of the Amblo Whale. Since a card was destroyed, I'm going to pop a card on the field. Now, they're going to try and pop my Airlifter. I'm like, no, no, no. That's just not going to happen. We're just not going to We're just not gonna do that. And uh, I decide to pop this set card. It's a Patch of Cephalo. I'm scared of it. <clears throat> so, there's that. Uh, Entis is negated. Amblo Whale effect triggers... Uh, just kidding. It was Inspector Border. Bro played this terribly. It's fine. Um, <laughs> imagine playing stun bad. <laughs> but they did. They literally just misplayed. Uh, anyway, we grab Turbulence here. Uh, we're going to shuffle back a whole bunch of cards. Whee! Uh, I shuffle back Preventer because I only have the one. Uh, we go for the Turbulence here. We're going to banish two. 
special summon it. Hip hip hooray. Uh, we're then going to go for the extra normal into the airlifter, and then just walk in with 3,000 points of damage, and then uh, just kind of pass the turn. Uh, oh, we do go for the turbulence here. I believe I said three. Yeah, I said all three, because I can go for the... Utilizing the effect of the hydrant to grab up alert uh, to grab the preventer. So, or to use alert to grab the preventer. Banish the other hydrant, we're going to special summon out the uh, preventer, and then we're going to set a card and pass the turn. Uh, preventer is also pretty important here, because it allows me to, like, flip down a barrier statue or flip down uh, whatever it may be. So that's kind of the idea there. Uh, we're going to go for the airlifter. Airlifter effect is going to go for the second to rescue, and we're just going to pass the turn. Now, again, this is a fossil dyna. Guaranteed. I'm almost certain of it. Um, so again, I'm going to try and play like that. We're going to go for the Nightmare Unicorn, to which my opponent will say no. They just say no. I'm like, okay. All right. Fair enough. I will not. Sure. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, Preventer is going to trigger, and we're going to special summon out our air lifter, and then we're going to get the extra normal to go for the impulse. And I attack in the wrong order. I should have attacked with, like, turbulence first here. I knew it was a fossil dino. They're going to they're gonna nuke my field. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I do have the rescue to get the KO anyway, so that's kind of, like, where my thought process was. I was like, oh, it's just going to wipe my board. It doesn't matter in which order I attack, because impulse is the only card that's been normal to bear. Uh, but I normaled the airlifter last turn, which I just didn't remember. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we rescue back the turbulence and just KO them. Good, good game. All right, we're back with the deck, and finally, Rescue Ace is pr is good. It's it's a good deck. It's a top tier deck. I'm actually going to go over uh, and probably do a tier list here, uh, not too or er, pretty soon. But yeah, all in all. Rescue Ace is pretty good. I think it's a very fun deck. And I know a lot of people are, like, probably playing the, the like, Poplar stuff, the Snake Eye shenanigans, you know, alongside this. But I really don't think it needs it. Uh, I feel like you're much better off just playing, like, non-engine and stuff like that. <clears throat> so that you can actually interrupt your opponent. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I think it's a very fun deck. It's a very interesting deck. It plays a lot like Labyrinth. Which I think is very fun. I think that's a very fun playstyle. Uh, at least, like, the more recent style of Labyrinth. Not, like, Stun Labyrinth, but, like, the actual more recent style of Labyrinth. Um, and this, this plays very similarly, right? Uh, except it can actually utilize its monsters pretty effectively, which is pretty cool. So you can actually make, like, Link monsters and Big Boss monsters and what have you. Which is cool. I like that. It's fun. Uh, overall, just a good, fun deck. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say except for, uh, finally, finally, uh, this, this pack has been really, really cool to help shake up the meta and at least, like, make it not just dominated by Snake Eye. To be fair, it wasn't, uh, at least Ladder wasn't just Snake Eye, um, it was definitely a lot of Snake Eye, but, um, uh, even prior to the release of all these new cards, Snake Eye wasn't as common as it was in, like, the TCG or something like that, um, but with that being said... Yeah, the it's it's been uh, it's been real nice being able to see all of these different decks, and uh, the meta has actually been a lot of fun. A lot of different decks and a lot of different play styles. Pearly plays differently from Rescue Ace, who plays differently from Lab, who plays I say that, but they do play very similarly. Who plays very differently from Unchained, who plays differently from Snake Eye, and none of them are just locking you out of the game. Uh, and then Mana exists, and we don't like that. And Mathmech exists, and Super Heavy Samurai exists, and we don't like that. You know, a few bad eggs and a bunch of really cool stuff. So, you know, overall good. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, like us very much. So appreciate it. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye bye. Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope you enjoy the content.